Here is the light game, a response game in which players must press as soon as possible their button when their color is selected by a random function. A LED is lit, an RGB LED, shows four different colors, blue, red, green and yellow. Four buttons, it's for each player, yellow, green, red and blue, are available to the four players. As soon as the lit, the RGB is lit, the player should press his button if his color is selected. For example, here is a red color, the red button must be pressed. If it's the blue button, the blue color, the blue button must be pressed. We have set the number of rounds to 10, so after 10 rounds, the statistics, the score is being printed. The score is measured by the reaction time. The lowest the number in the score, the better, because the user has a much higher response rate. In this game, we are using two Arduinos in which a master-slave configuration is being utilized. The master Arduino is this, in which is responsible for using the buttons and uh, random, randomly changing the RGB color. The four buttons are connected to this Arduino. Every button has also a diode in which not to interfere with each other and interrupt lines, one interrupt line is used to signify the button pressed. As soon as this Arduino acknowledges the interrupt, it signals the slave Arduino to play a music melody and also visualize the scores, the correct button pressed or the wrong button pressed. This is a reset button, so if we reset this button, the game starts. This is a basic 8-bit melody sound and the the round starts, we can see the RGB is lit. If nothing is pressed after the specific delay, we have a false. If the correct button is pressed, we have the correct. If we have a wrong button pressed, we have the false text. So, here, all the players try to press correctly their button because if they press incorrectly they are going to have a penalty which is defined in the code. This is the uh, total circuit and in the page you can find the specific bill of materials with the appropriate cost together with the full source code.